This time we will be making a hard of Romanian point lace cord and net filling worked with the needle. To begin the work you need to make a cord about 33 cm long. You can follow the crochet cord tutorial 47 to learn how to make the exact same cord. After you have the necessary lengths of your cord, use the yarn tail to join it in the round. Then make a heart shape by placing the cord on a mat and by fixing it with pins. Now I will be working net stitches for the filling. Work with a tapestry needle and thread. First go along the cord to the first side loop that you are going to begin with. Here I am going to start from the right side working row by row going to the left. Now pull the thread all the way through the first loop. And now continue working the Brussels stitch. This row I am working from the top to the bottom, so skip the next side loop on the cord. Insert the needle through the next loop and pull the thread all the way through. Hold the working thread below the needle. Here first stitch is made, don't make it too tight. Repeat, skip the next side loop on a cord and work into the second one. Insert the needle, make sure that the working thread is below the needle and pull it through. The second stitch is made. Continue, skip the next loop and work through the second one. Work a single net stitch or a single buttonhole stitch in every second side loop of the cord. Work all the way to the bottom. Here I made the last stitch and now it is time to begin the next row going from the bottom to the top. For this skip the last loop on the right if you have one and work through the side loop on the left. Work the same, insert the needle from the bottom to the top through the loop, keep the working thread below the needle and pull it all the way through. So now from the bottom to the top work one net stitch in every loop created before. Insert the needle and pull it through. The size of loops you can control by yourself, you can make it larger or smaller. The important thing is your loops should not be too tight or too loose. If it's hard to see the size of the loops, you can help with pins like this. So then you can create even loops. Continue and work through the next loop. I remind you that your working thread should run under the needle. Work all the way till the last loop. Here's our last loop. When you reach the top, carry the thread up to the next side loop of the cord to begin the next row. For this, skip one side loop of the cord and work into the second one. Just because here I have my cord turning, I'm working into two loops. You can do the same. Now turn, work going back from the top to the bottom, work in each loop created before, do not skip any of them. Insert the needle and pull it all the way through. Then work into the next loop. And into the next one. Try to make same size loops. Here is going to be the last stitch. Now work into the cord loops. Carry the thread up to the next side loop of the cord to begin the next row. For this insert the needle through the next loop and bring it up to the next one. Now 
Now we can begin the new row. Let me stretch the net to show you what we have made so far. Now we need to work from the bottom to the top single bottom hole stitch in every loop created before. So continue in this way working row by row of Brussels net stitch. Here I decided to stop my work and show you the half of the work done. I still need to continue and do the net till the top left part of my heart. Here I'm about to complete the work, work the last stitch, pull the loop and let's move the tail away, hiding it inside of the cord. Our beautiful net heart is ready. You just need to secure and hide the tails. Here we work the Brussels stitch in each second side loop of our cord. To make smaller loops, you can work through in each side loop of the cord as well. Working into each side loop of your cord, your heart will look like this one. Thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best with all of our hearts.